Howdy, 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 my name is Anachi Sasuke, and holy shit, it actually saved the game this time. Welcome back to Let's Read Homestuck. In the last episode, I avoided reading this wall of text right here. So in this episode, I can avoid it no longer. <clears throat> Nothing yet, but reasonably soon within a certain window, it will be time to leave. We will then pilot this meteor as fast as we can make it go in that exact direction. What's that way? Nothing whatsoever. As of now, that way lies darkness and uncertainty beyond description. I see. Then perhaps we should reserve the infinite darkness plan for the maybe column for now. I think I'm even willing to let Dave take a crack at the logistics before we commit to that particular maneuver daring though it sounds. Oh yeah, I got sick nasty logistics up my sleeve. I just call them sticks, FYI, which is how you know I'm savvy about them. Most of the sticks I'm fine-tuning at the moment involve rap, though I should warn you. But Dave, what if that dope as hell plan falls through? I can hear you ask. Plan B involves drawing some shitty cartoons and not giving a fuck about stuff. I hereby second this cool dude's radical no motion on grounds of ridiculously decadent attire. Yes, I'm willing to humor elaboration on this rap-centric plan and its apathy-based contingencies, even if it's excessively stupid. Trust me, it is. Just as you should trust me that by the time we leave, if we leave exactly within the designated window, and are able to travel at nearly the speed of flight, the meteor will trace a route through the furthest ring, which will topologically resolve as a straight line. It will lead us directly to the new session. For a brief moment, the sun will be visible from that session, and we will be riding the chartreuse coattails of chartreuse, yeah, coattails of its photons. This is why you all needed an advanced seer. I have become familiar with the ways of the fabric out here, but I couldn't even chart a journey that long or complex. That's because it's almost impossible to do so voluntarily. If we were to head right now in the session's true physical direction, it wouldn't be long before we found ourselves traveling in the just the opposite direction. This is not even to speak of the chronological peculiarities. After traveling some distance, we could discover we were suddenly tailgating our own meteor several days ago. If we are particularly unfortunate, we might even collide in an intersection of space-time with a meteor piloted by our future selves. And if we look closely at that meteor before impact, we might notice a very large dent in it, which it originally suffered during the very collision we were about to experience. It takes precision and timing to reach your destination out here, and most importantly, the grace of the time gods themselves. <laughs> Please! Hmm? KK, what the fuck? Were you holding your breath that whole time? Yeah, so? Oh god, you dumb, you don't actually have to hold your breath when, you, when you're when you being quiet. Okay, yeah, I mean, of course it sounds obvious when you put it like that. <laughs> Gross, I told you this dude is fucking incredible. Shut the fuck up! Look, I'm just a little out of practice in staying quiet for extended periods of time, okay? He really is. Anyway, whatever. So what you're saying, Lalan, is we're going to be on this horrible rock a good while longer to get this paradise session or whatever it is? Yes. And since we probably aren't going to force Solus' bullshit half-ghost or whatever to pop himself again like a packet of nasty fetid mustard so he can shoot this thing into hyperspace, hey man, come on, not cool. I'm guessing that means it'll take considerably longer to get there than it did to get here? Yes. I just knew it! This is my worst nightmare realized. When we first fled to this meteor, I had this weird feeling we'd wind up speeding forever at this miserable place, assuming we actually survived. I'm almost afraid to ask, how long is this trip going to take? Probably some absolutely preposterous amount of time, like three long maddening sweeps, right? Wouldn't that just be so cosmically convenient and perfect for everybody? Especially for the most important purpose of all, my uninterrupted continuum of personal agony! Thank you, Dark Gods! Thank you so fucking much! You win this round, you win all the rounds apparently! There are no rounds even, just your slimy tendrils are naked bodies and epochs of molestation! Don't be ridiculous. It won't take nearly that long. Oh, it'll only take about three years. Okay, that's not so bad, I guess. Wait, how long are years supposed to be again? Was it like, two weeks or something? Yes, two. And then 50 more. Fuck! Carcat, go back to holding your breath. This is going to be a wonderful adventure for everyone. I'm a bit jealous, honestly. Or I would be if I wasn't having such a good time with my death fangirl thing. So, you aren't coming then? No, I still have important work to do here. Aw, but that doesn't rule out the possibility we could meet again in bubbles along your journey. I hope so. Yeah, I think I'll hang up, hang behind here too, if that's okay with you guys. Wait, what? No, come on, don't be like that! Be like what, a ghost? 
I don't think I belong with the living anymore. You're a half-ghost, asshole! What does that even mean? How are you even taking this idiotic half-death seriously if you just go hog-wild as a fucking whole ghost and say stupid shit like blah blah, I belong in the afterlife now like a dumbass? KK, sorry. I just... I'm just done with this crap. This insane adventure bullshit. It's nothing personal. I just want to spend some time with AA and chill out and catch up with some of our dead buddies. Is that okay? Whatever, fine, I'm going back to not breathing again. <gasps> Maybe I will stay here too. Why? As nice as it sounds to move on, I don't know if I can stand three ye of your human years on of more darkness. I like the sun, it's comforting in a strange way. Like home. But what if we need your help? What could I possibly do, aside from providing a light source as you navigate the dim corridors? I would function as a premium escort to the load gaper and that's about it. But, Kanaya, you still have important work to finish, too. We can't ignore our duties. What are you talking about? Our race is extinct, remember? And after a few more casualties, it is now hanging by a thread. Your job was to see to that to the resurrection of our people. What real hope is there for that? The orb was destroyed. I was never able to duplicate it. The grist cross was too astronomical. There's always hope, though. You just never know, and I don't think you should give up. Doesn't Rose know? Can't you see the path of victory on this matter? It's hard to say. Does the repopulation of your species qualify as victory? These things aren't always clear-cut. Some outcomes are for your own judgment. What outcome would you like the most? I would like to have the orb again and to see it safe this time, and I guess to not be a total failure. Okay? If you follow my advice, I can at least promise you will find yourself in the best position to determine whether that may come to pass. Can you please come? Between the two of us, you with your in inexplicable, in inexplicable, heretofore unmentioned phosphorescence, and I with my nigh-reflective traffic cone orange sun seri, the meteor should never be too dark. So it looks, oh my god, is it me or is everybody already just fucking hitting on each other left and right? Oh god, I can't take sweeps of this shit, don't leave me alone here, please don't. <laughs> well, alright, but must we really leave so soon? It's soon or never, but not immediately. Even if the route were accessible right now, it would still behoove us to wait. There's correspondence from John yet to arrive. Whoa, really? And after that, we have to wait for one final guest to appear. Then we ride like the solar wind. The race will be afoot. Wait, another visitor? Who? Fuck! Oh lord. Now what? Bro, where the fuck is your body? Solus, where did your body go? Hell, I know. Oh no. Wait a minute, what? Wait, just a fucking minute? Wait, shit, Riska's body is gone too! Wait, she's dead too? Uh, you guys are so messed up. Where are they? Did anyone see what happened? Damn it, when the fuck will I learn not to turn my back on the bodies? Hold on. Oh no, where's Gamzy? He took them, look at the trails. Ah, fuck no, fuck no! Fuck that corpse hoarding sack of horrible garbage! Wait, has the Juggalo Troll been giving you guys fits like this or something? Like, this is a thing, like a pattern? Nice guess, shithead! Oh man, one of you has got to sit me down and tell me what actually happened here. It all just sounds fucking amazing in sort of the stupidest way possible. I mean, like, personal tragedies notwithstanding. Yeah, he does this! He sort of collects bodies and decapitates them and stuff. Just sticks them in big science jars for some reason. I'm pretty sure he kisses them too sometimes. No, 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 no! I'm not listening to shit like that. I didn't even hear that. It's like, you know how every now and then your lessons will bring some random random ass dead animal back to your hive for no fucking reason, and they don't ever stop doing that, like, no matter how much you yell, it's like that, you know what I mean? Not really. Oh wait, against all odds, I sort of do. Mine actually did that, did do that once. Yes, there you go. When I was really young, he made this stupid leather bib for me out of a goddamn horse, for the ironies, obviously. Was that the one you mentioned had a pink heart on it? Yeah. Hmm. What? It's just that the clarity afforded by my new... Abilities, it occurred to me just now that the dead horse was likely the beautiful pet pony my mother gave me recently. It was crushed to death by your newborn ass, you bastard. Well, shit, that's a hell of a mystery no one thought was a mystery and didn't even really need solving, but... Damn if it didn't just get solved, so nice work. Thanks. Kanaya, where are you going? Clown hunting. Oh, no. Are you sure you want to do that? I mean, who even really cares if he stole more bodies? He can have them, frankly, as long as it keeps them out of trouble. We don't need to have a fucking corpse party. Seriously, fuck that dumb idea. Alright, if you're really going to, just 
Be careful. No more pointless bloodshed, okay? That's an order. Wait, fuck. I'm not leader anymore. Rose, can you order to do that? Say what I just said really angrily, assuming you can even be angry. Wait. Guys, something's happening. What the fuck is going on now? Holy... Fucking... Shit! Shit! Man down. Okay, he's freaking out. Hey everybody, this is John. Actually, it is John Jaden Day Sprite. We all contributed to the contents of this bucket. Oh. Mm. We have to make it quick because apparently you're about to go on a long journey, just like us. I'm sorry we can't be there for the big meetup. Carcat, I deeply regret that I will not be present for these highly touted troll human sloppy makeouts. Haha. <laughs> Maybe in three years, assuming you all aren't totally smooched out by then. I'm just kidding around, by the way. Rose and Dave, you both look totally sweet! I can't believe you're both god tears now. Did you know Jade is too? Also, she has dog ears. She looks fantastic. How cool is that? We're all god tears! It's like we're a superhero team or some kind of anime squad. Like the Sailor Moons, I guess, but not as lame or as sexy. I'm going to miss the hell out of both of you for the next few years. I'm already looking forward to this new session so hard. It was a fun adventure we had today, wasn't it? I'll even miss talking to the trolls, too. Say hi to them for me, even though I didn't get to know many. Except Carcat, obviously. And oh, yeah! Friska, too. Friska, if you read this, thanks again for all your help. I don't think I'd have made it this far if not for you. I just thought you should know that. Jade and Dave's right both say hi and send their best wishes, but now Jade says I have to finish quickly. She wants me to throw this bucket and its heartfelt payload through her mysterious portal. So, here I go! See you all in three years. John. Carcat mental breakdown. So everybody's confused about Carcat freaking the fuck out. Even though a bucket just bounced off of his face. Oh. Wait, did she just see all of that? this guy? The visitor I mentioned earlier. He will be traveling with us too. Is he dead? We should be able to get him some help along the way, but only if we leave immediately. Luckily for him, we have no alternative. Jack will arrive soon. What? When I said the race would be afoot, I was being literal. He will follow our trail and match our speed. And since this is not the ideal scenario for a final showdown, the best we can hope to do is outrun him. Sounds like it's time to hit the fucking road, then! How do we make this thing go, anyway? Does it have rockets or something I don't know about? Maybe it does. I'm not sure. But one good push in the right direction should be all we need. I can help with that. So, do so you think you could lend me a hand? Huh? They'll need the biggest push we can give them. Oh. Yeah, sure. Wait, so just one push is going to last three years? Let alone outrun Jack? Bullshit. Calm down, KK. It should be fine. You won't slow down. How the fuck do you know that? Troll Isaac Newton told him. Okay, whatever. Let's just get on with it. In the meantime, we should set up some sort of checkpoint perimeter around the dead mayor guy. Just so Gamzee doesn't try to hoard his body or chop off his head. What is he a mayor of, anyway? Kinda looks like he just made that sash himself. 
He is the duly elected mayor of the Fruity Rumpus Asshole Factory, and he just cut the ribbon to a brand new museum full of priceless- Shut the fuck up! Okay, you guys can keep arguing if you like, but I'm going to send you on your way now. Then after you, then after you leave, I should be able to buy you a little more time. How's that? When Jack comes, I'll slow him down for a while. It won't be b for very long, but it's the best I can do. That should help us greatly. Thank you, Aradia. You're welcome. Are you ready, Solix? Pachoo! Okay. End of Act 1, Intermission 1. Oh, I guess that's, uh, uh... Male Woman Noir? No, uh, Beck Male Woman. Yeah. Okay, so, that was the end of Act 6 Intermission 1, this is going to be the beginning of Act 6 something else. So, this has been Inashi Sasuke, this was I think episode 75 of Let's Read Homestuck. And the next episode, we're Jane Crocker again! So, thanks for sticking around if you've been watching for this long, because holy shit, 75 episodes, and it's only going to get worse from there. So, I will see you guys next time. Later!